My guest today is Peter Maurer. Peter Maurer is a former Swiss diplomat. Now he is the president of the ICRC, the International Committee for the Red Cross. And I'm going to ask him what he thinks the future of humanitarianism might look like in a post-COVID world. I would say we are really at the crossroads today. We see that there are actors in conflict uh, who are open to charter new territories, to understand the importance of inclusive humanitarian assistance, building new societies and uh, building more inclusive societies. We see actors who use COVID as an accelerator for conflict and politicize these conflicts. We see that the virtualization of our work has dramatically increased. I think what we have also seen is the localization of humanitarian work because while we have always made declaration of humanitarianism has to become more local, more close uh, to local decision makers and first responders, it was difficult to enact. And now it happens by force. And I think these trends of localization and virtualization of our work will continue and probably be compounded by a third important phenomenon. I think given the global character of the pandemic, there is today such a big recognition that nobody can do it alone. So it's these value changes of humanitarianism which will completely change, I'm sure, and create something new. The Red Cross itself is like this global symbol of humanitarianism. Uh, what do you think is happening to the idea of humanitarianism globally? We are professional uh, carriers of hope. We have to hope that it goes in that direction. But whether this will materialize will very much depend also on us as humanitarians fighting for that new humanitarian space. It will depend on donorship, on leadership. We, we don't see the international community aligned in this new vision for a new humanitarianism, for more inclusive societies. And I fear very much that there will be places where things are worse, even if we are able eventually to create some better places. And where things will be worse, it our presence will be an indicator that it is worse. The present situation at least gives new opportunities to try. Do you think this crisis will make people more aware and caring of the needs of others in other parts of the world? Or is this, will this have the effect of everyone closing in because this affects me, so I'm going to first take care of myself and not worry? It is obvi obvious that the sort of introspective perspective has gained a lot of ground. The sovereignist perspective within states, the stigmatization of other communities uh, along the lines of uh, COVID-19, the exclusion of those who have been affected, uh, the marginalization of uh, some of the groups which have been affected. So the, the indicators are not very promising. When I talk uh, to colleagues on the ground who are at the front lines, I'm always surprised also about the positive dynamics. I would really reject a sort of a, a negativist traje trajectory where we say this has to end up badly because we have so many politicians talking exclusion, self reliance and all you have heard and we have heard over the last couple of days and weeks. As a purveyor of hope, what is it that you would wish for in terms of humanitarianism and how it happens in the future? Uh, we have been along for 100 and almost 60 years. And one of our biggest difficulties is very often in uh, emergency situation, in crisis situation, that uh, politics enter the humanitarian space. And sometimes I think the best I can wish is that some would leave us alone while others would more genuinely support 
communities, uh, uh, beneficiaries, victims, uh, individuals. Uh, I think that would be a great thing if we had uh, less politicking and more political endeavor to keep a neutral and impartial humanitarian space.